Hi. So it's a couple of days after the hurricane Helene came. And I wanted to talk to you about how do you handle when bad things happen to people, to places, to things, when you have no control of what has happened. But you watch the videos, you see how the devastation has taken place, how people have lost things. And then what do you do? What do you do with that energy, with that sadness, with, with even the anger, the frustration? I know that many years ago when 9-11 had happened, they told us, psychiatrists and therapists said, turn off the television. And it's very, very difficult because you want to know what happened to these people. You want to know what's going on. Were they saved? What about the animals? What about you know, all this stuff? Whatever it is that you're watching, you always want to know what's going on. You need closure. But what also happens is that when you continue to watch these videos, you then become depressed, sad, angry, and you become stuck because you're not thinking about how or what can I do to possibly come up with solutions or suggestions or even help. And sometimes you might not have the money and that's okay, but you can pray, right? You could pray and say, dear God, universe, higher power, whatever it is that you believe in, help these people find a solution, help them get the help they need, the medication, the oxygen, the money, the funds, help them to become whole again, send love. But the other thing is, is that what do you do with all of that that weight that you have that you're holding on to well a couple of things it is okay to cry I it's it's perfectly okay so whether you know people in Florida or Georgia or Tennessee or where I live North Carolina South Carolina all of these areas that have been hit and some of the areas are the really poor areas and some of the areas are the really rich areas but it doesn't really matter because these people they lost everything. So when you see these things and when you start getting angry or upset or, and it's okay to get angry at God. And you know, you might not agree with me, but every once in a while I'm like, why would you let this happen? And there's always a reason. I know there's always a reason. I know that when one door closes, another one opens, but there are times that I can't see that other door and I have to see step back and say, what's the point? What's going on? What is the lesson? And it could be that one, we've become so distant with each other that we forget how to help each other. It could be that we are not taking care of the planet that was given to us. It could be many, many things. And what we have to do is take a step back and say, okay, what can I do to help? What can I do to not only help others, but to help myself? To realize that maybe I have to be a little bit nicer or a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more patient. But it's okay to cry, it's okay to get angry, but it's not okay to keep on carrying that forward because you're not gonna get answers and you're not gonna get solutions. And even if you can't afford to help and send hundreds of dollars, which most po people can't. You can send a case of water. You can drop off something. It could be, oh, I have some socks that were never used. I have brand new clothes that are in the closet that still have the tags on that I've never used. Or it can just be giving the linemen that are helping us or the workers a meal, a cup of coffee, a water, something. Because that little bit of compassion, that little bit of generosity 
no matter how big or how small, changes everything. Because then we're connected again. We're connected in a good way. So when I look at the devastation, while it saddens me, and trust me, I have cried. I don't know anybody that's in those towns, but I've been in some of the towns in North Carolina, and I've been in Fort Myers and all those other areas, and it just saddens me. But at the same time, I have to realize somewhere along the way, we're gonna learn something. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do what I can to help, whether it's little or big, so that this way, I am now changing my thoughts to love. This is Kathy Linder, your favorite hypnotist. Even a prayer, even a letter, even a card, anything to shift us to a higher level of love is going to help everyone. So go, start shining your love, start taking the time and do it. You'll see the difference.